What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Main back checking in with the people. And today I want to give you my first impressions for Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil. But yeah, um right off the bat, I want to talk about the visuals really quick because when I played the demo, I wasn't that impressed with the visuals. Um I am playing on PS4 Pro and I do want to say I think the visuals probably took a hit because the game is running at 60 frames per second. And in addition, the game does have a VR mode. Now, um, as of right now, it's exclusive to PlayStation VR, which I don't have, so I haven't got a chance to test that out. But I know what's coming to like the Oculus and the Vive after the you know exclusive deal is up, which I believe is for a year. But I believe the game took a hit visually because the game needed to run at 60 frames per second in order to be you know fluid for the VR headsets. Um, it does have its moments where it looks nice. The character models don't look that good. Um, when you're outdoors, it really doesn't look that good to me. Um, indoors, you know, with the house and the mansion, that's where it shines the most. And it has its moments where, you know, some of the effects and the enemies look really nice. But overall, I'm not impressed. It's kind of, um, you know, on the downside when it comes to a AAA game and what I expect visually from the game. But... Other than that, that's probably the only bad thing I got to say about Resident Evil 7 right now. I am loving this game. The story, um, I'm only a couple hours in. So, you know, you start off as Ethan. He's the main character. He gets an email from his girlfriend who's been missing. You know, basically he believes she's dead. Uh, for three years, she's been gone. And she he gets this random email from her telling him to come save her. So he, you know, follows the tip and he heads to this place in Louisiana and he ends up at the Baker Mansion. And from there, that's what all hell breaks loose. But I ain't going to spoil anything because it starts to get crazy. Um, originally, when I played the demo, you know, the game kind of felt like an Outlast slash PT style game because of the first person. And with the way the demo played out, it kind of was like... Um, you know, you do one thing and it leads to the next. But if you don't do that, you kind of fail and you got to start over. I thought it was going to be similar to PT, but when you're playing the game, it's not really like that. It's kind of more traditional Resident Evil than I even thought it would be. Um, playing the demo, I, I was loving it. You know what I'm saying? If it was going to be like that, but it's not like that at all. Um, it has those classic Resident Evil puzzles. It's a tight corridor game, you know, similar to the first three Resident Evil games. You know what I'm saying? Um, the first person angle is different, but you know, you don't have this situation where you're going up against, you know, tons of enemies at once. It's kind of like one, you know, one big enemy, one big powerful enemy at a time, sometimes maybe even two. And like I said, I'm only, you know, a couple hours into the game, so things can change. But as of right now, you know, it's got that classic Resident Evil feel to me. Um, the puzzles are really cool. A lot of Metroidvania style puzzles where, you know, you come across something and you can't access it, but, you know, you keep playing and you got to come back to it. And it all leads to the bigger picture of what you're trying to accomplish. So um, I thought that was really cool. Um, I love the the Baker family. They're so like a Texas chainsaw, the hills have eyes type of family. And they're just funny and crazy as hell like they do nutty shit and <laughs> it, it's it's so crazy this the stuff that they do and they just keep coming back and back it's so crazy man i'm loving it man i'm really i really am loving it um but yeah like i said i'm a couple hours in so i haven't you know got too far but as of right now you know i i, I really respect capcom for taking it back you know what i'm saying i know with Resident Evil 5 and 6, they started to lean more towards the action style game. And a lot of people were turned off from that. Um, Resident Evil 4, a lot of people felt was a nice blend of the action and, the, you know, the survival horror. I think this is going all the way back to Resident Evil 1 style of, uh, you know, gameplay and survival horror. And they're nailing it so far. They are really nailing it. So I'm hoping the, you know, the story can, you know, keep up and pick up. Um, the voice acting is pretty okay. Some of the stuff is kind of like, all right, you, you're not giving it enough emotion for the situation that you're in, but it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? Overall, I thought the voice acting is pretty good so far, and the story is pretty, you know, pretty average. It's an average story. It's nothing out of the, you know, out of the ordinary. I mean, other than the Baker family, motherfuckers, it's crazy, <laughs> but, you know, um, I can't wait to play it again, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to play it again. I 
gotta play this game dark at nighttime, pitch black with the headphones or the TV on blast. It's the best experience you can have, and I love horror, so it's been a blast to play, and I can't wait to jump back in. But these are my first impressions for Resident Evil 7. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about Resident Evil 7. No spoilers, please, because I haven't beat the game yet. But let me know if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit the thumbs up for your boy. And also hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going to drop another video. I'll catch y'all out in my next video. Peace.